Nope. <laughs> it's not in my face. There we go. What's up guys? I decided to jump on here and do a little intro to this video. I'm going to be sewing up some cushions for a client. Um, it's not a super exciting project. It's actually quite boring, but I'll take you along and I thought that I would just talk you through what I'm doing. Kind of like a day in the life, but not really. So yeah, let's go. This is the fabric that I'm going to be working with. This is the zipper I'm going to be putting in so that you can get the cushion cover out. All right, doesn't want to focus, that's fine. That's a, that's a zipper. So like I said, this is the fabric. It's quite a sturdy cotton canvas. It's been pre-washed, which is why it's a little crinkly. I'm gonna to have to go give that a really nice hot iron now so it's nice and flat. Um, and then this is the cushion insert that's going to go inside. Just a note on doing cushions and cushion inserts. Um, this one is a size 20 and it's 51 by 51 centimeters. So my actual cushion cover is going to be smaller than that so that the cushion actually fills it out. I learned that the hard way once because I made a cushion and then I filled it and it kind of just looked really sad because it looked half filled. So the trick is to actually make your cover slightly smaller than the insert so that the cushion really fills it out on the inside. Anyway, my cover is going to be 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. I'm gonna round off the corners a little bit so they're not super pointy. Um, and like I mentioned with that silly zip that didn't want to focus, I'm gonna put a zipper on it. This is my little plan where I sketched out what I was doing. This is the little fold over bit so I added a bit of extra fabric and then add seam allowance, seam allowance, sorry, seam allowance to every single piece. I'm actually making two cushions and the reason I'm making it out of this and custom making this for a client is because they had a window seat that they needed cushion. They had a window seat that had a custom foam cushion on it. And so when you have custom cut things, you can't just go to the shops and buy a cover. So I sewed them up a cover in the same fabric and we had a little bit left over and thought it would be a good idea to make some cushions. We'll do a quick, quick bub check because the little thing is uh, sleeping. Yeah, she's pretty tired. She was up at like three this morning. Let's not talk about that. Two hours later, just having a little lie down because this morning's antics, it's catching up, <laughs> catching up with me and you're used to sleeping through the night again, you know, when your bub finally gets to that age where they can sleep through and then all of a sudden something just comes along and like wakes them up at three in the morning. It just really, really gets you. <laughs> So just having a little lie down before I, she's down for a second nap and my mum's coming over to play with her for a bit. She usually comes um, once a week and takes Bubby for a little walk or just has a play with her um, while I sort of run around and do whatever I can get done. <laughs> Okay, so before I cut out these sections that are split in two, I need to double check my stripe situation. So if you're working with stripes or a pattern of some sort, um, you need to be aware of where you're going to cut because you're probably going to get the best looking cushion, the best looking cushion, <laughs> if you can match up your stripes. <laughs>
Right, I'm just checking that everything lines up and that everything's going to work. Once I unzip this, I'm going to sew down that side so I don't have to worry about that gap over there. But otherwise, I'm looking pretty good. I always pull my threads through when I change colors so that I don't have to re-thread my overlocker. Everyone knows that re-threading an overlocker is a nightmare. So you just tie a knot, pull the threads through, and then the only one that you kind of have to re-thread is the needle because you can't get the knot through the eye of the needle. There you go. Pull that through. I've been summoned for dinner, so we will continue tomorrow. All right, so I've overlocked that raw edge. Now I'm going to fold it where this little overlap is. I'm hoping to fold it right there so that this white line matches up. That. And I think I'm going to tack that down with a straight stitch so that it stays in place before I sew all around the outside. Now I'm just going to lay the front piece straight over, making sure I've got the right sides. I'm going to make sure I line up the stripes as well, so just having a peek on the inside so that these stripes line up as best as possible. Stick some pins in. Now we are ready to just sew all the way around the outside. Oh, it's the next day by the way. <laughs> Okay, so now that I've finished sewing that, I'm going to turn it inside out. Check that everything's lined up well. Ta-da! Oh no, I forgot to top stitch that down. Oh, I think it should be okay actually. Let's see, I'm going to just to surge around the raw edge as well so that when you put it through the wash because cushions can get dirty and everything you want to be able to wash them so just going to surge around this raw edge otherwise it will fray okay. Voila. cool that's pretty much done i will turn it out the right way give it a really nice press because pressing makes a huge difference when you're sewing. You get really nice crisp seams and then we can stuff it with this cushion. Bub is currently at childcare and we were trying out doing a nap there for the first time and I called them up to see if she napped and uh, she did not. <laughs> So, I'm going to go get her soon. She's probably very, very, very tired. So that'll be an interesting afternoon for me. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Alright. Where's my iron? I really need a new cover. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, is it gonna be too big? Ooh. Hmm. I think I just have to try and get it right into the corners. Uh, I needed to top stitch that down. I was just talking a whole bunch and it wasn't even filming. <laughs> Basically, I was saying that 
I did a boo-boo. I need this to overlap, so I need it to I need to top stitch this down. So I might have to unpick it and do that. But that won't take too long. And I was also rambling on about before I realized that I wasn't filming <laughs> that my cardigan is uh, done up the wrong way. But I've been wearing it around like that all morning and I'm just gonna pretend it was intentional. Bit of an asymmetric look, you know? <laughs> and it was tucked in, so it didn't look too bad. Anyway, I will unpick that and try again. <laughs> it's all part of the process. <laughs> Ugh. We're on day three. Ah, I literally just got into sewing for like 10 minutes and uh, Bub has decided to wake up. So I will finish this at some point. I'm back. It's I've forgotten what day it is, but today's the day. We need to finish these cushions because they are getting dropped off tomorrow morning first thing. So today's Sunday. My lovely husband has my child, our child. <laughs> so I have a little bit of time to knock these out. Let's do it. Pretty much done. It's amazing how quickly you can punch things out when you're not distracted. Alright, these are pretty much finished. I just need to turn them out the right way and shove the pillow inserts in and then I'll show you how that turns out later on. Now I'm going to enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Forgot to unzip them <laughs> before I sewed them up. Okay, wow, that was an effort. Turns out putting cushion inserts into cushions is a workout, so be prepared for that if you are making cushions. <laughs> but they are all done. Here we go. One, two, three. They've turned out beautifully. Voila. And that is the cushions finally done. Sometimes these little projects can just drag on a little bit because I only get little pockets of time here and there, especially if I'm trying to fit in some other work projects that I'm working on as well that might take priority. But otherwise I do enjoy sewing up these things because they're different and they change up my days and my weeks. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in another video soon. Bye.